All right. Hello, everybody. And this is how to install and use the uh, new graphics enhancer that I have recently discovered on the internet. So what you want to do is you want to download it, obviously. So you just open it quickly. So when you get it, it'll look just like this. Whoop. Come on. It'll look just like this. What you want to do is you want to open a file browser, desktop, not desktop, what am I saying? Let's try this again. Your C drive, program files by 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Black Ops, main, not main, what am I saying? Just here. You, just, well, you want to go just here. Too much camo making, sorry. So now that you're here, what you want to do is you want to take all of this and just drag it in, just like that. And it'll take a second, it'll move, it'll unzip all the files and put them in there, and boom, now it's installed. Except, for me, I had already installed this at one point, but it wasn't working, but mm, ignore that. But once you do that, you're pretty much good to go. So, now, uh, I'm also doing a mini test here, so let me just move that out of there. Okay, so now what you do, you just launch the game like normal. So, just gotta wait on it for a second here. It's launching. It's gonna it's gonna be all messed up here for a second. Just hold on. Oh boy. Because my game has generated a new config, it's gonna look bad at first. My game took the second to generate a new config after doing that. So just give me a second. Uh, twenty by ten eighty. Ah. Uh, Okay. Okay, now we're good. And full screen off, please. Okay. There we go. Now we're good. So now you'll notice uh, the game looks obviously very different than usual. It's darker, a little bit of lens flare going in the bottom left, and it's notable, notice, just in general, noticeably different than what it normally is. Now, um, to use it, there's a few settings that you can do in game, and I'm just gonna load up Darius quick to uh, show the differences that you can, or the different stuff that you can do. So there we go. I also need to turn down game sound because holy fuck, it is loud. So yeah, you can notice that everything just looks different. So, now that you launch up a game, game in every way pretty much looks different. Uh, the coloration is different, uh, everything's darker, uh, lens flares and stuff and whatnot. So basically, it's on by default, but if you press F9, it'll go back to normal. So this is what you normally see in game, and when you press F9, this is what comes out of you, the uh, enhancer. So obviously it saturates the color and makes everything look pretty er ish So uh, another setting about this besides toggling on and off is H that I know of to turn on edge blur or not. And what it does is it kind of blurred, it kind of uh, it adds a little blur to stuff at the distance. And if I kind of, it's probably hard to see on my bitrate, but if you spam it, you can see the difference. Like it just kind of starts blurring stuff out on the edges and stuff. So now, as you can see, ugh, it's not my normal config. So there's supposed to be another setting that changes. Uh, supposed to be another setting that changes. It's supposed to like open up a menu, but I don't know what the setting is right now. Supposedly, there's this open up a menu to edit it, but I don't see it. I'll have to, whoop, I'll have to talk to the dev about that, or the guy at least who put up the video about it. I'll have a link in the description so you can see the actual video. But yeah, it doesn't seem like after spamming buttons, there's no menu that pops up in any way. So anyway, yeah. So as you can see, big differences of the game. 
So. My computer is running awfully slow today. Hello. And save the aids. I'm going to do that. So now you're probably asking, I don't like that. Can I change it? And I'm going to say, yes, you can. So now you'll have this new folder called GemFX right at the top. And then you go to Presets. And you'll see there's already a handful of presets there. So the game will automatically read the preset named Current. So this is what it's currently reading. Oh, And as you can see, it's just a bunch of numbers and stuff. I don't know how to read this yet. Uh, I think there's a menu in game, that I, as I said previously, that allow you to edit it. But I don't know how to get to it yet. So I'll have to talk to the uh, guy in the YouTube comments and see if he can hit me back with anything. But right now, there's a few... Uh, different presets already and on the YouTube video there's a few extra that are not here so uh, I don't know if there's an exact difference between each of these um, presets but what you can do is I'm gonna create a new folder I'm gonna call this uh, current default because I don't know if current and default are the same thing so I'm just gonna meet it in the middle so what you want to do is just drag it out you know kind of back it up as usual put it in the new folder and then pick something like WD preset well, here, I copy it, and then go back to your current folder, paste it, and now you have a whole different kind of scheme that the uh, enhancer will read. So you'll notice now that things look different once the game boots. So, or not boot, there you go. So as you can see now, the game looks actually different than it did before. Now if I launch up Doris. You can already tell that everything looks different, so you could just mix and match them. Uh, you can download the few that are in the uh, in the YouTube link. Uh, so yeah, now you can see this looks well different. So you know, it's just up to you which ones you want, which whatever you decide to uh, roll with and whatnot. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna hit up that guy in the YouTube comments. See if I can figure out a way where you can personalize it even deeper than asking him for a certain uh, type of preset or whatever. So uh, I hope this helped you out a little bit. Uh, any questions, you can ask me or the guy in the uh, who made the YouTube video all about this. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.